Woodsy Warmth is the name of this next collection that we're going to share with you today. And you get the idea that it has that, that warm kind of a feel. It's very naturalistic in the fact that it has the ivies and the different materials in here. But really what captures your attention is the nest that just is nestled down in that woodsy warmth. So we're going to show you the wreath. And then I want to share with you an idea today that, of taking the spray. And as you can see, again, has that same component in there, the wreath or the uh, nest that's so important that you saw in the wreath, and then those natural materials. But you know, sometimes when we get these larger pieces and you go, ooh, that's pretty tough to work with, and, and you know, the stems are pretty heavily wired, you know, we don't even need to really cut those just by taking those around the hand, or you could use any kind of round material. I just like to give it a little bit of a twist and it almost has like a root kind of a feel, like an orchid plant. Um, and so I'm just going to lay that right on top of my container here. But obviously it can't stay. So I need to secure it by using some of the stems from uh, pins from stems on previous projects. Or I'm going to do a combination and add some additional material here. So I'm going to actually use those stems to help secure that. So it gives me the option of, of um, security in there without adding a lot of additional cost. Now I like the fact that that fern is expressed pretty much the same look that we're seeing in here. So I'm definitely gravitating toward the pansy bush. And that color, that vivacious, the purples and the blues, just a super, super dynamic. So we're going to take that and wow, I've got lots of leftover little stems to help secure that into place. And so keep in mind as you work through your permanent collections that when you start cutting those stems, kind of hang on to those pieces and parts that you go, oh, I'm not real sure that I will ever use that. Believe me, you will. And after you get a vase full, then it's okay to stop using those. All right, so I have my my uh, spray secured in there and this is going to be an asymmetrical composition meaning that if I cut it down the middle both sides are not going to be identical so I want to keep that nest as my focal which tends to be more in the middle so I'm going to work through that and work um, my, my color combinations um, around that so it really directs the eye back into that nest to make it even more important so there's that fern. I'm going to add that right in and work the fern on the opposite side of what I have going here with the, with the spray. Woodsy warmth is kind of a great you know, concept and it, it, it says so much just in its own title. And I think you'll find that when you shop the collections at Pioneer Imports and Wholesale, that each collection has a special name and it really identifies the look and the feel of what's happening with that particular collection. Okay, so let's take a look at it by adding those additions in to see what we've done. Now it's starting to almost tie together just a little bit more. And what I am going to do is because this is such a dynamic um, coloration, I'm going to cut one of those off and bring that in so it pulls that all the way through your for your eye. Now the, the dynamic color of the, of the pansies again gives us that wow factor, gives us that punch of color. So I'm going to add those violet tones. Oh, another great one. Add that in as I go. So I'm going to keep the weight more in the center of the uh, composition. A little bit expressed to the outside, but again, like I said, the majority of the weight right through here in the middle. Let's add another pansy in there. These are great looking. Very realistic. Gave me another pin. And when I pin, I cross pin. So I'll push one this way, the next one I'll come across. So what they're really doing is locking. So if, you know, somebody happened to pick it up by, you know, just the uh, component, it's not going to come apart on you. 
So the white anemone, I'm going to bring down to the opposite side, kind of put those really deep into the design. Another great pin. And when we get all finished, you could easily take some reindeer moss or some Spanish moss and, and place that into the, you know, the negative areas that you happen to have that might be um, showing through where we don't want to show our mechanics. You could add a, a piece of statuary in here to get more of a natural type of a feel. You know, especially, this would be wonderful um, for sympathy viewing. Or that family that you know wants maybe to take something home or you want to send your customer wants to send something to the family for that you know for them to enjoy this would be the ideal for that i could even see putting like some fresh little mini violets in there um you know to to give it a little bit of, of, of freshness to it lots of options here absolutely stunning and i love the fact that it's that horizontal long low type of a feel. There we go. So the woodsy warmth. You can see we started with the spray, brought it down, pinned it in place, and then added the one bush to go into it. Makes an ideal combination. Great look brought to you by uh, Pioneer Imports and Wholesale. Mm -hmm.